All right, let's make a messy bow from lace. This will be a lace messy bow. So first you just wanna grab all the little different patterns of lace that you can and cut them into equal strips. In this case, I'm just kind of eyeballing it about eight inches long. And I'm going to cut it down the middle because the width was a little bit wide, wider than I would want for bow material. Now this piece of lace was more of a trim piece. So I went ahead and took off the piece that was gathering it and made it as straight as possible. And again, it was a little bit of a thicker piece. So I went ahead and cut it in half. I'm gonna repeat this process for all the different types of lace. They're just all so pretty and I love them all. Um, this particular one was the right width, so I left it intact. This one is a really pretty pattern. I went ahead and cut it in half because again, it's just a little bit wide for a messy bow. And on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in half as well after getting it the right length. On this particular one, I decided to go ahead and double it. There's no particular reason. I just liked that lace the best, so I grabbed two pieces of it. Now you're gonna take all of your um, pieces of material. I went ahead and added this piece of eyelet to give it a little more of something to make it stronger than just the lace because lace is so light. I cut myself about four strips of the eyelet, the cotton eyelet to go with it. And then I'm going to go with the traditional lace, um, with the traditional messy bow pattern, which is just to lay your pieces crisscross all the way in a circle until you have laid all of your pieces of material down. No particular rhyme or reason to the different strips. Just, you know, I am varying them and repeating them over until all of them are laid out. Now, the traditional messy bow calls for a zip tie. And so I am threading a zip tie through the bottom underneath all of the pieces of lace. Once I have it together, I can pull it a little bit tight, flip it over, make sure I've got it where I want it, and tighten my zip tie. Then I'm gonna take the material all in my hand like a bouquet and give it a little haircut. I'm gonna trim all of the excess of the lace off you are able to get creative with this. You can make the bow as small as you'd like or as large as you'd like. You can leave the edges rough if you want or you can do like I did and just give it a little haircut. Once you trim it down, you're gonna wanna shake it off and get all of the mess. That is the signature part of a messy bow is to shake off all of the extra little pieces. Now I'm just spreading out the bow and just pulling all the pieces apart so that we can see what we have here in the way of a lace messy bow. I'm pretty happy with it, but I decided to go ahead and trim it a little bit more because it was quite large after all. Again, I am wiping away the mess and I'm gonna find the center of this lace messy bow and apply this really pretty rhinestone daisy in the middle. Most of my messy bows have a sweet little embellishment and in this case, I'm just gonna hot glue this right in the middle of the messy bow. This messy bow turned out so cute. You can add it to a wreath like this. This is my embroidery hoop wedding wreath that I made a few DIYs ago. So pretty. Or you can put the messy bow on a bouquet. This is just a wood solo flower bouquet on a tray on an ottoman. 
It turned out so cute. I'd love if you subscribe to my channel and follow along for more DIYs.